Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kyle with ICE. I just want to make a little video that goes over a quick little tip for if you find yourself in a stubborn, uh, in a position with a stubborn clogged ear. Um, there's lots of things that we try and do instinctively to kind of get this to free up, but I've found one particular technique can be really beneficial. So I'll show you two ways that you can do this. If this is you lying down here, you have the option of doing it yourself, or you can have somebody that has a little leverage from the angle that I would be standing to maybe help along. First thing you need is a cushion that you can place under the neck. Ideally, this is something that would cradle the neck, not so much the head like a pillow. Um, so if you have a pillow lying around that's about this size, or you can take a towel and kind of roll it up, that would be a really nice option. If Whitney's left ear is clogged, what I'm gonna have her do is turn her head to the right, and right in front of where her ear is, you'll find a little bony nub. That's right about where the jaw will insert into the socket here. And what you're gonna do, um, if this is, if you have somebody to put this tension on your jaw, you're gonna have them take the contact point right here on their hand and just traction, find that nub, traction down the bone of the jaw here, and then you're just gonna give a little pressure towards their chin where you just make kind of a nice gentle traction. From this position, you're gonna have your person that you help take a nice big yawn and then let it out and then it'll just traction a little more. And sometimes you'll make enough space where that eustachian tube will kind of reset and you'll feel the pop. Now again, on, if you don't have that option of having somebody help you out, what you're simply gonna do is the same exact thing, but you're gonna take this part of your hand just from a leverage standpoint. So Whitney will kind of grab that same contact point She'll traction down the jaw and then angle towards her chin and try and do a yawn. Say if it doesn't clear with one yawn, you know, you can try a few yawns. Um, but hopefully that kind of does the trick as far as clearing out that ear. Now, last thing, if that doesn't do the trick, what my encouragement would be is to grab your ear yourself and try and traction it up and down where you feel there's a little resistance. So for me, when I go up, it feels a little tighter. When you feel that, you're going to traction away as well and then you'll try and do a yawn and then see if that clears. So two really simple, straightforward options you can have. I know these clogged ears can be really annoying and stubborn at times, but if you try these, uh, they might do the trick. And if they're not clearing out, one good option is to find yourself a really good chiropractor and see if they can't do the trick for you. Again, my name is Dr. Kyle with ICE. Thanks for watching.